How's everybody doing out there today? It is 7 o'clock basically a.m. Eastern Standard Time on 1014 2020. In front of you here is the PDF um, piece that Apollo has showing the full benefits of the mobile payment system. And you can see right there how good it looks with the branding. Knox Exchange, Knox World Pay, Apollo Dex, Apollo Currency, Gold Secure Currency, Government Bank Platform, Minimal Mineral Claims, Commodity Exchange, Tax System, National Currency System. Everything that they have for the government pro uh, solutions, consumer products, ready to rock. And that'll be more of the theme of what I have going on here today. You've got uh, market conditions right now of 358 for the market cap and 11.3 for the volume. BTC is 11.389, a little bit down, 1.27 down. ETH at 132 down, and that is at 379. XRP was holding, but now is down 2.51%. So you got a sell off going on there. Now, the stuff I was mentioning consumer and government, and also commercial. Didn't mention commercial, but commercial is involved. So when you look at everything that Apollo Fintech is doing for the consumer, coming out right now, I'm, I'm using the Stratus right now beta. So is Steve, so is a bunch of other people that are in the development aspect of it and making sure it's all smooth to go. This is coming out, and it's going to be coming out pretty soon. So when you have this available to you, this left-hand side dashboard gives you all the pieces that they have for hubs. Basically, you're going to have an Amazon Marketplace style piece. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube is coming too. For called the Video Hub, Instagram, called the Picture Hub. Get my drift? All these are hubs. All these are put on the left-hand side. All these are everything in one location. And then invite your fa friends, family, followers, subs, everybody to it. This is going to be a rush. No data sold. It's all private, which is nice. Okay, Stratus, all-in-one social ecosystem for the consumer. Knox Bank for the consumer and commercial and even maybe government, but mainly commercial and consumer. When you do this piece here, which the link is going to be down in the description, you have this piece here, you can register for it. They will send the confirmation email of your approval once everything is locked and loaded. So within the next week or so, because they're still processing. So this gives you your own bank, debit card. Uh, you can use it to send your fiat to it. And of course, Apollos and GSX and BTC and ETH. So much more with that. So keep in mind, social ecosystem for the consumer. Your own bank from Apollo. Okay, awesome. Then you have, oh, before we get there, you have the Knox Pro Exchange provided to you by Apollo. So this is showing you that everything right now, what Apollo is doing, is putting out top quality products for the consumer and rocking the governments with the national payment platform. And the all-in-one Apollo currency, APL coin, is the bomb. And that one here, when you look at its breakdown, which is on the um, APLFintech.com, when you look at the comparison piece on it, uh, link you can see right at the top with the link up there, a comparison. And when you look at everything that they have, I've been doing this for the last two and a half years, by the way. Um, today, 1014, two and a half years ago, um, exactly. I, was, I started putting out videos on Apollo. So that's amazing, two and a half years ago. And it's all right there. All the new stuff coming, including DAG consensus protocol, protocol I should say, our ARC 1.0, so much more. But let's get back to where we are right now. When you look at the web wallet, which is an all-in-one wallet available right there with all the different aspects of what you can use with it, download it from the Apple, Android, you can do Linux, you can do desktop, web, national payment platform, Knox World Pay. That's going to be a rush, guys. Off offline SMS payments, allowing even the most remote sub 
villages access to blockchain technology. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, this is going to be available for you. That's a rush. Instant payments, SMS. National payment platform, two companies right now to, uh, partnered with Apollo to promote that, all working as we speak in the background. So Knox Wire is an international bank-to-bank -bank settlement system that they're using. Yeah, Ripple. Uh, App Apollo e-government platform, Stratus. It's available at these exchanges. Knox Pro, Bitmart, Digifinex, SystemCoin, HitBTC. And again, all the features. So when you look at the domination that Apollo's had for the last two and a half years, this is nothing new. This is what they've had for two and a half years. And they've added to the dominant, dominant features, including the sharding. Nobody else has it. So when you look at all the pieces over on the left here, and you've got all that right there. And look at all the red, okay? This shows you domination. And right down at the bottom, you get the sharding was added, adapted forging. Transaction speed is that fast. So think about that. And there's live demonstrations with the wallets showing you how fast that is. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. So all this is Apollo's customizations for the consumer and the commercial and governments. Governments, like I said, are going to be rocking pretty soon. And when you hear what's going to be going on for the government using the national payment platform, it's just going to be something that's going to astound you because so many um, countries worldwide are pushing for blockchain. Some are slow, like the United, United States. Others are not. And when this right here is being promoted right now, these companies that are doing the promotion of the MPP for Apollo are based in the Pacific Islands. Okay, they're based all over the Mid -East, Middle East and Africa and beyond. Yeah, this is going all over the place pushing the NPP for Apollo's national payment platform. So this, again, is Apollo. This PDF, I'll link, link this in the description up in the cloud. You can download it by clicking it and checking it out. If I went through the, if I went through the whole thing, you would be here all day. Okay, so looking there, you got the commercial bank, central bank, commercial bank, merchants, citizens and how it parlays through the speed, the card, mobile app, desktop access, offline SMS. That is the bomb. Apollo Fintech's doing it, aplfintech.com. Other news, which there isn't much other news in blockchain right now, and that's anything that's that important. Seriously, I scan everything. But what is out there? JP Morgan calls Square's 50 million Bitcoin investment strong vote of confidence for the cryptocurrency. Stifling U.S. regulations is the main reason the U.S. is losing in the fintech race. Yep. Okay. Russia is seeking to do a robot digital. And, oh, no, there's, this is one thing I forgot. They are do, trying to do that, the digital ruble. But here they're trying to limit your spending if you're not a professional accredited investor to 8000 a little less than 8000 bucks, 600000 rubles. So $7,700 worth of digital, or I should say Bitcoin, you can buy in cryptocurrencies. I don't know if that's nice. <laughs> Reserve Bank of Australia is still researching the CBDC. It says it doesn't need. Yeah, at the moment they say they don't need it. But where is blockchain going for use by governments in the near future? It's exploding. Exploding. And NPP for Apollo is going to make that happen. So everybody, get ready to rock it. This was not planned this morning to do this, but there was so much new stuff I want to put out there for you. And think about the Knox Bank, the Stratus. Gold Inc. is coming. Also, too, um, I don't have it here, but if you go on Twitter and, and just do Gold Inc., they have an airdrop coming tomorrow of the Gold Bar airdrop. That is the gold piece that you can get from earning it in the Gold Inc. game. So they have an airdrop tomorrow. Lock and load on it, guys. Okay, any breaking news, I'll have it for you. Everybody have a great one, and I'll be in touch.